Okay, today we're going to be talking about fast arrays. Now, whenever we talk about arrays, we're talking about rows and columns organized so that they look like a square or a rectangle. So for example, if I do 4 times 5, I could say that this is 4 rows of 5. So let's do 4 rows of 5. Here's one row of 5. Two rows of five, three rows of five, four rows of five. And I could label it four by five because I have five and four. <clears throat> now you understand that I can say, I can multiply the two numbers together to find out how many total circles I have. So four times five is 20. So maybe I'll write that here. Four times five equals 20, okay? So this is not a fast array, this is just a regular array. So what's a fast array? Well, a fast array is just a shortcut for creating an array. So, if I want to do a 4x5 fast array, all I need to include are two sides of the array, like this. I would put 5 up here when I label my numbers, and a 4 down here. And I don't have to fill in any of the other circles, as this is just a shortcut for a full array. Now you might see a box in here with the number 20. And what that means is that there are supposed to be 20 circles within this array. Okay, so let's try one more fast array here. Let's do three times six. So that's three rows of six. Okay, here's one row of six, but instead of drawing all of the rows, I'm just gonna put one side. So it's three rows of six. Okay, and then on the inside, I'm gonna put 18 in a box because there should be 18 circles there because three times six is 18. Okay, so that's all a fast array is. It's just showing the sides, two sides, of the array, and then including the number in the middle. Now, you also might get a division problem. I'm just gonna use the same, no, the same numbers here. But let's say, let me split that in half there. Let's say we had 18 divided by six, okay? Well, we know that we have one side is six, and we know that the total is 18. So using the fast array, we're trying to find the missing number, which of course should be three, okay? That's just an aside, but hopefully this under that helps you understand what a fast array is. It's not too difficult of a concept all it is, is making an array using less writing, okay? A little shortcut for you.